Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have successfully installed the Express Framework and also we have started the server using the Express.js framework methods. So how we have did it? We have installed this Express and we have, uh, we have imported this Express and we have called the wrapper express method so that we can get the wrapper methods which are which are we will get some easy operations methods so that we can write the code according to the express js framework and also we have in the traditional load js method we have handled the incoming request of the particular pages and we have and, and we have given the response to that particular pages according to that appropriate response to the particular page we have given it now in this video we will see how in the express we can send the responses to the particular routing pages. Let's see, try to see it. Now, before learning about the routing and all those things in the Express, first we need to know about the Express.js. Express.js, the core concept of this Express.js is the middleware. So, Express.js completely handles with the middleware. What is a middleware? So, what is a middleware means in Express.js, if you are every incoming request, every any time if an incoming request, if a request is coming, whether it can be home page or uh, uh, about us page or users page or anything so if any response if any incoming request is coming it will undergo through a series of middlewares so that if one middleware exe executed after that one another middleware will be executed like this it will go on executing the series of middlewares one by one and who whatever the middleware sends the response it will send the response directly so this is this is what the middle this is how the middleware works let's try to sh show the simple example here the middleware you can use something like use method so this is the use method and this use method takes some C, uh, some methods so this can use method can be used in eight different ways so here you'll be able to see eight overloads in eight different ways we can use this use method we'll try to see the basic thing and whenever an incoming request comes so it will go through this middleware first it will go through the method and whatever the callback function here it is executed it will try to execute this callback method and here it will take some series of uh, three parameters that is nothing but request response and a next now here the incoming request will be having this in this one and the response if you order the response you want to send it so here you can modify this response and the next means when you mention this next method it will be it will be sent to the next middleware if you don't mention this next method it will not send to the middleware it will stop here only for example let's say that here console.log first middleware so i will be writing first middleware now i am not mentioning any next let's try to run this one so here in our terminal which is present in the visual studio code i am calling npm start so as soon as i run this one so it will start running the server and let's open the chrome by the time so i am opening the chrome here <coughs> let's open the chrome yeah, this is the Chrome and here what happened to this one so let it run so now here it has successfully started server ported server started at port 3000 now if I try to open localhost 3000 so if I try to open the home page now let's try to see the output now you cannot get any response why because we are not sending any response here if you try to see here you will be able to see the first middleware so that means here this first middle, the incoming request has went into this callback function and it has executed this first middleware. Now if I write at the below another middleware app.use and the same thing I will try to take request comma response comma next sorry next and if I try to mention here console.log second middleware. Now after completely executing this first middleware it will come to the second middleware to execute it now if you try to execute this one so i will try i will try to execute the same thing localhost this one if i go into this one so it has executed the first middleware and let it start oh i didn't save it this one so let it save it yeah again it has been started i will execute this once again yeah it has already it has started executing and if you go into this one let's try to let's try to press enter again yeah i have pressed enter again here the first middleware yeah so now here it is executing only the first middleware why because it is not going into the second middleware so what could be the reason is here so now 
after executing the functions after executing the lines whatever it is present in the first middleware so if you want to send it to the second middleware so it will be always from the top down approach whatever the first one you have mentioned it it will execute the first one and afterwards it will go to the second middleware so here if you want to send it to if you want to forward this incoming request to the second middleware you need to use the next method here so this is the use of this next method so if you don't provide this next method so then this execution will stop here only so it will be the response will be stopped here only if you want to send any response you can send the response here so here it will be stopped here only so you need to pre you need to add the next whenever this execution is finished now this incoming request will be carried to the second middleware so now if i try to save it if i execute this method here again let's try to execute it yeah now if you see here the output will be the first middleware and also the second middleware now it has executed the second middleware now if you want to send it to the third middleware means if, you, if any third middleware is present then you need to write it next here then only it will go to the next middleware so this is how the middleware works so middleware means what you can say is if an incoming request comes in the express js or node js so it will go through a series of middlewares so which was mentioned at the first and afterwards it will it will go to the second one it will go to the series of middlewares and you can execute the logic whatever the thing you want it and whenever this middleware you need to mention the next if you want to forward that incoming request to the next one if you don't mention any request means it the, the incoming request will wait will stop here only so by using this one we can mention the routings also so how we can mention the routings is for example let's comment out this one <coughs> so here I told you right the app dot use we can use it in, in eight different ways. So another way is app dot use, and the first parameter what it will try to take is the path. So what is the type of path? So that means whenever a uh, request is coming from the home page, now you can pass something like request response and also the next here. And here you can write something like here you'll be having in the express js you'll be having a response dot send. Or otherwise you can write the response dot write and you can use this response dot send end also so you in the express you will be having response dot send so what is the benefit of this one we'll try to see it so now before writing this one so we have understood this this about this one right so we have understood about this so let's try to use this response app dot use now you can add this one console dot log of here the middleware okay let's try to oh sorry let's try to write console.log and here i can write so first request i can write the first request let's try to see that whether it will execute this one or not so now here if now it has been started if you go to in this one if i try to execute and if i go into this visual studio code and if i check the output see here we are able to see the first request also but here the first parameter takes the route method okay the first parameter takes the routing method routing means request url so based on the request url so here the first one will be having something like it can match the regular expression string pattern so like this you will be having so many options so you can go through this one and you can do it one you, you can you can add the routing request so now when a request routing url is matched and now this callback function will be executed so there we have written something like if dot request url is equal to equal so and so and request dot method so like this we have used if conditions and we have used it here we can make use of this middleware and we can pass this middleware so whenever the request url matches if you go into this express js framework okay express js and here you will be you can open this one and in the guide you can be able to see writing middleware so this is the middleware so app dot get this type of things uh, handy functions also will try to see it actually the first middleware what we can do it is so constant my logger so here whenever a request comes we need to log the request and here we have they have used app dot use of my logger they have passed this function reference and whenever an incoming request comes it will always log the request here and it has passed the next so that it will be passed to the next one we'll see about this get and all those things also like this we will be using the middlewares in the express js in the next video what we'll try to do is how we can use this middlewares to write the routing let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this middleware concept in express js so this is the main thing which we which uh, the express js mainly depends on 
If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.